Well, one area church is bouncing back from a major break in. It left almost everything inside from the pews to the pulpit completely ruined. Well, the raid happened more than a month ago at Mount Rock Baptist Church in Goud. Melinda Zosh stopped by the church this morning. And Melinda, members of Mount Rock say there's still no leads in this investigation. That's right, Mark. There's still no word on who turned this church upside down. Many questions still remain for the congregation of 50, but they say they won't be scared away. This church's roots run deep, dating back to the days of slavery in Bedford County. And that deep-rooted faith is what's keeping them strong. Mount Rock Baptist Church started with a simple sermon on a rock almost 200 years ago. It started from a, on a rock to a log cabin. They got burned down and they built another log cabin that got burned down. Over the years, they rebuilt again and again on the same land. Now they're replacing almost everything from Bibles to windows that were destroyed in a break in. Upset, it hurts. It's almost, it almost feels as if someone has passed away because it's, the church is just so near and dear to us. This is the site that greeted church members one Sunday morning in late June. Everything inside was sprayed down with a fire extinguisher. And the pulpit, tables, even pews and pianos were all torn up. It looked like they just had a party in here. They just stopped from one end and came all the way through and just destroyed everything. Now, this is what the upstairs of the church looks like more than a month after the damage happened. At first, investigators thought it was about $10,000 worth of damage, but now the estimate's gone up to at least $28,000. First thing came to my mind said, why would someone do it to the house of God like this? <laughs> So they did what they've been doing for the past 200 years. They're singing, and phrasing, and praying for God's blessing. We're still being strong in the name of the Lord, and um, we'll continue to just keep on keeping on. It's brought everyone closer. But they do have a message for the person or persons who tried to crush Mount Rock. I want to say to them, you know, I hope they are. Uh, would like to come forth, or if not, you know, the Lord knows who they are. Now, church member James Anderson Jr. tells me nothing was stolen from the church. In the meantime, everything from the chandeliers to the carpet is being replaced upstairs. Insurance has covered most of the damage costs, and repairs are expected to wrap up in the next few weeks. Live in the Lynchburg studio, Melinda Zosh, ABC 13 News. Thank you, Melinda.